guys, it's Lauren here. So today I'm gonna to be talking to you about vegan makeup and the vegan cruelty-free products that I really, really have come to love. And yesterday I put out a video talking about all the ways in which um, companies and a lot of, most of the big department store companies test on animals, even the ones that say they're not testing on animals, a lot of the time are paying third-party companies to do the testing for them. Um, but not only that, a lot, a lot of companies use animal byproducts in their makeups, in their toothpaste, things like that, which I had no idea about. So it was really sort of a good learning experience for me to do that video yesterday. And this has been a video that's been requested for some time, and the reason I haven't done it is because up until recently I really was not happy with the vegan products that I was using. I Every time I ran out of something I would try and find a cruelty free option and it was just getting to be this very expensive trial and error process and yeah I didn't like what I was using so I wasn't comfortable recommending it. But I have recently switched over to a company that I absolutely love and, and would not hesitate to recommend to anyone, and I'm gonna talk about that today. There is a bit of a disclaimer on this video, and that is that this is a company that I, after using for a couple of months, have decided to get behind and to promote some of their products because I really, really love them. I would never promote something that I didn't use and love myself. Um, but that being said, if you are not comfortable listening to me talk about products that I am potentially financially benefiting from, then please move along. I'm not, you know, like I said, I'm not pushing products on anyone or anything like that. I'm really just gonna talk about this company that I love and I just think that their stuff works amazingly. I'm really excited about it. So, all right, the other small disclaimer I have to note is that unfortunately these products are only available in Canada, the US, the UK, Australia, and Poland at the moment. So I do apologize for that, but I know that some of those countries are where the bulk of my subscribers come from. Yeah, so I'm gonna jump right in. I use a lot of this company's products. Um, the company is called Arbonne. Some of you may have heard of Arbonne before. They are, like I said, 100% vegan and cruelty free. They're also 100% um, gluten free. I'm just gonna read this list. No mineral oil, petroleum products, waxes, um, acetone, harmful levels of chemicals, harmful levels of preservatives, no dyes, no chemical fragrances. And you know, these are some of the best products I've ever used. I'm going to be doing my makeup for you guys today. I'm gonna to be doing sort of a more steps than what I would do on a regular basis just because I know that I wanna get through all the, as many products as I can and I know that certain things will appeal to certain people. So I do use, like I said, I use um, like the toothpaste and the deodorant and I this is the best vegan toothpaste I've tried. I've tried like six and I hated all of them except for this one, but I might do more of a review on those in a different video if people are interested in that. Today I am gonna be focusing on makeup. I happen to love makeup. I know a lot of people go vegan and think that they need to be minimalist and like I totally respect that, but um, I don't know, I enjoy makeup. I'm a painter, I don't know if that has something to do with the fact that I enjoy using makeup, so I'm gonna continue to do that and I'm going to support companies that are vegan friendly. So the first thing I'm going to start with today is the primer. I'd never used a primer before starting with Arbonne and I absolutely love it. It really makes a difference with how long my makeup lasts. So I'm, this is what it looks like. I'm just going to be spreading that all over my face and I'm just gonna be using my hands to do this. <laughs> All right, so you guys can see, I do not have perfect skin by any means. Um, I don't usually try to completely cover it up. I do just do like a light foundation usually, but today I am going to be going for like full coverage because I know that some people are interested in that and I really want to demonstrate exactly what these products can do. So the first thing I'm going to be starting with is my, this is a CC cream and I have it today in Fair. And this is, um, it is, it's like a moisturizer, it has SPF in it, it's like a concealer, foundation, all in one. So it is light coverage, but I really like it for just like a summer day like today where I just wanna throw something all over my face and go. Um, it is very, like I said, it's light coverage, but it does have an impressive amount of coverage for being a cream. And I'm just gonna use a little bit because I am gonna be using a foundation today, so I don't wanna do both of them, but I just wanna show you guys how this works. 
So this product is really good for people who maybe are a little more low maintenance with their makeup um, or you know just want something nice and light for the summer. It really does not feel like you're wearing makeup at all. It doesn't ever look cakey. It just gives a really nice sort of evening effect to your face. But I'm not gonna do full coverage with that today because I wanna talk about the foundation and I love this foundation. Even like MAC products and things like that before, I really was not very happy with them. By the way, these products are not cheap by any means. You really do get what you pay for and they really, really work. I would probably put them on par with like MAC products or SD Lauder or something like that. Um, yeah, so beware of that. They're not cheap products, but I absolutely love them. They also are free of fillers. So, you know, you're getting a really concentrated product. I use like a fourth of the amount of this than I did when I was using department store products. There's the color. This is in Honey Beige. And I'm going to be using my Arbonne brushes today. I know that there are other vegan brush sets that you can buy. I really love this one. This is one of my favorite things that I've bought from Arbonne. And it comes with six brushes. And a lot of like MAC brushes and companies like that do use like raccoon hair in their brushes. So you really, really don't wanna be buying that. Um, these are, like I said, 100% vegan and I absolutely love them. So today I'm going to be using my uh, foundation brush and I'm just gonna be applying this evenly all over my face. So that is the coverage um, with the foundation, which I'm pretty impressed with. I also never end up using all of the product. Next, I'm going to be using um, the concealer, which just looks like this. I'm using the light one today, and I'm just gonna be using my ring finger to gently put it under my eyes. All right, so next, I'm going to be using the mineral foundation. This is in Nude, and if I had to recommend one item, this one I'm just so impressed with. I've never used a mineral foundation that works the way this one does. I often use this just by itself. It does like everything. I've never experienced coverage from a powder foundation like I have with this one, and I'm just really impressed with it. So yeah, if you're just looking for like a one-step foundation, this is what I would recommend. Um, and I'm going to be using my mineral foundation brush. This is the one brush that does not come with the brush set. It's just like quite stiff and it's good for blending. Um, but if you wanted to just use a powder brush, I'm sure that would be fine as well. All right, so there is my coverage. I'm pretty impressed with these products. And they also are very, very light feeling. I was using vegan makeup before that was just so heavy and like sticky and I already have quite oily skin. So these are really, really light, even with like the three layers on, I'm pretty impressed. So next up, um, I'm gonna be using my bronzer. There's just the one bronzer, but it's just like the perfect shade. And I'm gonna be using my large powder brush and all I do with my bronzer, I'm by no means a makeup artist, all I do with my bronzer is go under the cheekbone and a little bit up the sides, a little bit on my neck. And next I'm going to be using the blush, uh, which is in Blossom and I'm gonna be using my, this is another brush that comes with a brush set. It's just a little bit angled, so it's just nice for sweeping across your cheek. All right, so now I'm gonna move to my eyes and I'm going to be using the, this is sort of like a highlighter. This is in linen and I'm just gonna use a very small amount on my brow bone. And a little bit in the corners of my eyes. So next I'm gonna be using a crease color, a sort of a nice medium color. This one has a bit of purple in it. It is in indigo and I have like mostly green eyes so I like a little bit of purple, helps bring it out but all I do, this is one of the brushes by the way, in the brush pack, I really like it. It's just nice and big and soft and it's just good for blending and I just do a little bit in the crease of my eyes. And that is my eyeshadow. So next, all I'm gonna do is some mascara. And I do have, uh, this is the liquid liner, which I use sometimes like if I'm going out or something, but it's the middle of the day, so I don't really feel like having this on. It's just a bit too heavy. But it is just a really nice 
liquid liner. I have it in like the black brown color. There's just two colors and it's just sort of like a nice soft black. So I really do like that and I've been using liquid liner for years and years. And I also have a pencil liner. Again, I have it, this is in cocoa. It's like a black brown and it goes on really, really nice, but I'm not gonna use it today. I'm just gonna go straight to my mascara. There's only one mascara and um, yeah, it works. It's black, I really like it. It also really smells good. It smells like flowers or something. <laughs> All right, so the only other thing I have left is some lipstick, and I really don't use lipstick very often, kind of just if I'm going somewhere fancy. Um, but I do really like these lipsticks. Um, I used to buy MAC lipsticks all the time, and these feel like they're just really, really soft. Um, so I have two colors. I can really only do pink. <laughs> yeah, this one is like a slightly, I'll do the light one first, actually, just so you can see. This is in Magnolia. <laughs> It's just sort of a nice like nude color. And now I'm gonna use the darker pink, which is rose. It's just a little bit darker than my natural color. Melaniac, this one's for you. <laughs> he was talking about his favorite pink lipstick the other day. We'll yeah, and the only other thing I have is lip gloss. I really don't use lip gloss very often, but this one is a really nice lip gloss. If you're into that, I'll just do a bit of a layering thing for you. <laughs> So guys, that's my makeup look for ya. Um, like I said, it was a little bit heavier than what I would do on a daily basis, but um, yeah, I just wanted to go through everything that I have with you guys. So a few things. If you do think that you're interested in any of these products, first of all, you can ask me any questions either in the comments or you can email me at sugarandstarch at gmail.com. If you are interested in purchasing some of them, it is online, I'll link it down below. And you think you might be Buying you know, a few products at a time, there are options for you in terms of saving some money, getting some discounts. So I don't wanna put that in this video, but if anyone's interested, again, just email me and I will give you all the details. The other thing I wanna quickly talk about is if you are someone that is in Toronto slash the GTA slash Southern Ontario area, and this company sounds like something that you might be interested in, uh, please send me an email. I will give whatever information people want. I really did my research on this company before I decided to get involved and I think that they have a very smart business model um, especially for people like myself you know I'm not sure if this is going to be just some secondary income I've spoken to quite a few people who have completely transformed their lives selling Arbonne products and which I think is amazing because everything's 100% vegan and I love it so if you're somebody who is looking for, it's sort of like a business in a box. You really are starting your own business, but there is very, very little risk involved. Yeah, so I'm looking to expand my team. I, I don't think that this is for everyone, and it certainly is not a get rich quick scheme. It is one of those things where you're going to get out of it what you put in. So for some people, that's going to just be a little something on the side. For others, it's going to be you know much larger than that, and there really is potential in this company to do very well for the right people and for the people who want it. So. If you're interested at all and you are in that area, please, please email me and yeah, I'd be very interested in talking to you. There's no pressure whatsoever. This is not a pushy company, which is huge for me because I'm not a salesperson. I'm not going to, I'm just gonna be very honest about products that I use and love. I know that the company is also looking for people in Poland um, or even people that are of like a, like can speak Polish because the company has just moved into Poland. So I thought that I'd put that out there in case you are someone that is interested in that. And this is not exclusive to females. There are a lot of males and men who do very well with the company um, because it is a lot more than just makeup so that's all that I've got if you guys want to see me do like a different makeup look or something I know that like 82% of my subscribers are female so if that's something that you're interested in let me know this company even has like protein powders and um, like green supplements and stuff like that it's all vegan all gluten-free so there's definitely other things that I could talk about. Just let me know and I'd be happy to do it. So I think that's all for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time.